All right, got an email from a viewer, actually a friend of mine, somebody that camps at the campground that my wife and I used to own. And he says that we've been contemplating buying a new truck, but can't decide if we're gonna upgrade our travel trailer. With the prices the way they are, we don't wanna to get too small of a truck in case we do want to upgrade our travel trailer. We're probably gonna wait for the sh chip shortage to get better. We want a diesel because when I retire in less than five years from the state, we wanna travel across the country to include the mountains. What do you think? Good idea or bad one to wait for the shortages to end? That's from Richard and Monica. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching the video and for your email. That's a very frequently asked question. I got to tell you, whenever it comes time to talk about the economy or spending a lot of money, I always, always err on the side of don't do it, or at least go into it being very, very cautious. Uh, Richard, you know, I know you, I know Monica and you, uh, you guys don't have a brand new truck and you don't have a brand new travel trailer, but it's not that old and it's in really good shape. You take care of your stuff and that is an important thing. I look at the, the big picture and I say, uh, you know, I totally understand the desire to want to upgrade, to have something new and fresh and you've got what five more years to work at the state, so that kind of carrot is out there. You're you're excited, looking forward to that. I get all that, but your RV, your truck, look like they're in good shape. You guys do your required maintenance and then some. Um, let, let me just give you some views on the economy in general from the wingman's point of view. First off, before this whole pandemic thing hit. How many people do you ever, have you ever talked to that said, walked into a car dealer, a truck dealer and paid sticker price before the pandemic? I don't know anybody. It's always negotiable, right? You got the sticker price, which is the MSRP, and you never pay sticker price. They always haggle some more than others, but you never pay sticker price. I read the other day that 82% of all vehicle sales are sold at more than the MSRP over the sticker price, 82%. I don't think they're worth it. If you have to have a new vehicle or if money is no issue for you, you know, that's, that's a whole different thing. But for most of us, money is an issue. We don't wanna put the financial noose around our neck. We don't wanna bury ourselves in another uh, loan. The uh, lenders, the RV dealers, the automotive dealers, they will all tempt you. Look, we got great financing. You're only paying so much per month. And look at that new thing you're going to have. It's not very much. Bull, don't buy the payments, Richard. I tell people don't ever buy the payments. The payments are what gets people in so much trouble. Yes, the payment may be attractive now, but how long does it last? Way too long, most of the time, right? Uh, they will tempt you and they will do everything they can to entice you to buy that new trailer or vehicle right now. Now the question comes up, are the automotive dealers sticking it to us? Are they sticking it to you and me? I don't know, it kind of depends. If you look at it from our side, it's like, hell yeah, you know, 82% more than sticker price, That's they're ripping us off. But if you look at it from the dealer's point of view, because of the chip shortages, because of the other shortages, they can't get the inventory they need to sell below MSRP, like they normally do, did before the pandemic. So they have to raise the price just to keep the flipping doors open. And so are they sticking it to us? No. Are we paying more money? Yes. What's going to change in the future? I don't know. But I'm telling you, five years ago, if you would have thought, well, yeah, you know what? In five years, we're going to have this pandemic. We're going to, you know, the world's going to be a different place. You'd say, there's no way. Well, way, it, it has happened. Um, uh, talking about RVs, RV prices, uh, if you haven't been shopping lately, uh, go shopping and be prepared for some serious sticker shock. Also, the shows that I have been to, many of the new RVs that I've seen are not put together very well. I go to these RV shows, and if they're, wouldn't you think that a dealer would take the time to fix that little piece of trim that's off, you know, or fallen down, or wouldn't you think they'd, when you'd open one of the storage compartments, they would have vacuumed that out? If the dealer won't even do that before a show to show off this beautiful trailer, what do you think they're going to do after you buy it? So RV prices are high. 
They, like the automotive companies, haven't been able to get all the inventory they want, but the demand is so high for RVs right now, the price is shot through the roof. So if you want to buy one, you're going to pay a lot of money. Are you going to pay sticker price? MSRP? I don't know. Maybe. Have you looked at used RVs lately? I believe the price of used RVs has, uh, uh, has peaked and is coming down. In fact, with all the Facebook groups that I've got, I'm seeing a trend develop. I've mentioned this before. The trend is there's a lot of RVs out there that are for sale and more every single day. And they are uh, not very old. They're one to two, maybe three years old. People are just like, you know what? RVing wasn't for me. Uh, I can't afford it anymore. I lost my job, whatever. Uh, but before the person gets rid of their RV, a one or two or three year old RV, and for example, if they know that they can't make the payments on it, I just can't afford it. Do you think they're going to do the required maintenance? Do you think they're going to do all those little things to maintain the value of that RV? Probably not. The other thing is you need a car or a truck, right? Everybody needs to get to and from work and to the grocery store, but you don't have to have an RV. An automobile is a uh, not a luxury item. An RV is. And people don't have to have an RV. Do they want one? Well, of course people want an RV. But they're not cheap. When you pay the insurance, the fuel, the maintenance, the, the, uh, the, the storage fees, the campsite fees, your payments, registration, it all adds up. They're not cheap. So people are going to be, they'll still buy their car. They can rationalize that, you know, justify that purchase. But buying a new RV, unless they just have a lot of money, they're probably being sold a payment, and I am not big on buying payments. So I see the market is changing a lot, and it's going to continue to change through uh, you know, 2022. I think that, uh, that the sales that you're going to hear about, oh man, things are great. It's because the lenders are going to continue to loan people money. I think we have, we generally speaking, have never been more in debt than we are today. Young people especially. It is so tempting to take that credit card, to go on a trip, make the payments on it. What could happen? Most young people haven't lived long enough, in my opinion, to see really bad times. It's not their fault. They've just, you know, if you're under 40 years old, the last 20 years for sure have been pretty dang good, generally speaking. And when you're a young person, you don't really pay much attention to it anyway. But if tough times come, you're going to wish, probably, Richard, that you kept your truck, that you kept your travel trailer. So my advice is to, uh, just my advice, is to hold off for now. Bank that money. Maintain your RV. Maintain your truck. Keep your finger on the pulse of the market. Don't, uh, don't be tempted to run out and get a loan that is going to bury you or put that financial noose around your neck. But again, that's just my thought. I thank you so much, as always, Richard, for the friendship and for being our, our customer over there at Big Chief. But for uh, sending me the email, it's a question we get a lot of, and hopefully I've given some things for y'all to think about. Anyway, what do you think, folks? We all want to be heard. Do you think I'm off my rocker? Or do you think that I'm making a couple of good points? What else would you advise Richard? Buy now? Don't buy now. Put your comments down below. And if you have a question like Richard did, or you have a, a topic you'd like to hear my take on, you can either shoot me an email. The email address is down below in the description. Or you can call my voicemail. Leave me a voicemail. Listen to every single one of them. I get to as many of these as I possibly can. I'll even maybe do a video for you. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. My name, Alan Warren. I'm called the RV Wingman. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.